Reporter Richard Southern joins us to chat about the day's interesting stories. Now, there have been plenty of theatrics at Toronto City Hall in the past few months, but it's nothing compared to what we witnessed in what has now been one decade ago, Richard. I don't think we'll ever see anything like that again, Erica. It was the big story, the huge story, 10 years ago, this very moment. Broke last night. This was the headline from Gawker 10 years ago last night. Quote, for sale, a video of Toronto Mayor Rob Ford smoking crack cocaine. Of course, the Toronto star Robin Doolittle, Kevin Donovan followed shortly thereafter with their story of the then mayor, uh, you know, in a video smoking crack cocaine. That was uh, May of 20 of uh, 2013 and it was uh, October of that year that the Toronto police said they had the video and November 5th of that year Ford admitted to smoking crack cocaine. I guess I think of two things with this Eric. I mean uh, you know it makes me proud to look at the industry we're in that you know a story like that was broken properly using anonymous sources but I also just can't believe it's been 10 years. Can you? It's I crazy. can't. No, no I can't believe it's been 10 years and I remember just how huge it was and it made its way to late night U.S. late night talk shows. It was uh, quite a time yeah they made a movie about it too since so That's it's been right. wild yeah many people are fighting for the right to work from home but that will never happen if you're working for elon musk no he did a big interview with cnbc today and boy uh elon musk with a big hot take when it comes on comes to working from home he said quote the laptop class is living in la la land musk called out people who work from home saying it's an affront to those who must show up to the workplace erica he said quote you're going to make people who make your food that gets delivered they can't work from home the people that fix your your house your car they can't work from home but you can does that seem morally right musk asked <laughs> Um, I mean, I got to disagree. I mean, I just I really believe like we're going to look back, Erica, in, you know, years to come about and we'll be shocked. Like, I can't believe so many people left the house every day to go to work when they didn't have to. I mean, don't, right. you, don't you agree with that? What do you think? Well, it's interesting that Elon Musk is telling us what he thinks is morally right or wrong. So uh, yeah. uh, not quite the authority on mm, that, is he? I don't think so. OK, finally, it isn't unusual to see Mother Nature interrupt a baseball game. But this next video, Richard, is unlike anything we've seen before. <laughs> It's your video of the night. Uh, Florida baseball game the other day. Seven-year-old catcher playing along the 17-year-old umpire behind him. And the ump Oof. comes to the rescue. After Look Goodness. at this. Oh, this poor catcher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Everybody's a big, okay, like, uh, I'm sure, though. Every, right? Everyone's okay. They yeah. resume the game shortly thereafter. But I mean, the the uh, calm and the poise of the 17 year old to rescue the seven year old there. Yeah. That's a big dust devil, Erica, that erupted. Everyone was okay. We, you would you would you would rescue me if something like that happened, right? We're, sure. We were on the air. I'm sure you'd be fine, Richard. Up. You could you could you could handle yourself. So. Don't know that you'd be able to pick me up, though, Erica. <laughs> Maybe push you. Want to risk your back? Just, just, <laughs> kinda, yeah, Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.